Cutting medium and longer length hair at home isn't easy and today I'm going to be sharing the easiest way I've found to do it and that's using some hair fin hair length guides. These come in two, three and four inch lengths and they just mount on your hand and then extend below the palm of your hand so that you can keep your hand a set distance away from your head to get an even cut all the way around. I'm going to be starting here with the four inch. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to wet my hair real quick. This helps the hair clump together so you don't have individual hairs escaping you when you go to cut it. Here I'm starting to cut my hair with the 4 inch hair fin. I'm being careful here to make sure I keep my hand parallel to my head. So I want that hair fin to come out perpendicular out the bottom of my hand, but I also want it to be perpendicular to my head. And that ensures that I get a perfect 4 inch cut all the way around my scalp. Depending on the type of hair you have, you might need to use one hand to pull the hair straight so that you can put the hand with the hair fin in place. But I've found that I can use my hand with the hair fin mounted, kind of like a comb, to go through my hair, grasp it at the base, and then pull it straight while rocking the hair fin into place. So now I'm going to be going on to the 3 inch. And one of the things I'm going to do a little bit differently is that I'm going to keep my hand uh, vertical. So instead of rounding it up over the top of the head, I'm just only going to work it up just vertically along the, along the side of my head and the back of my head so that I can just fade that 3 inch hair into the 4 inch hair on top. Cutting the sides and back of your head on your own is the most difficult part of this process. If you don't have an extra set of hands available to help you out, I recommend doing some dry runs practicing getting the hair fin in the right place before you start actually trimming. Put the hair fin in my left hand now for cutting this side of my hair. And this is the real beauty of the hair fin is I cut the hair on one side and now I'm coming to the other side and I know it's going to be perfectly even, no guesswork. I don't have to go back and forth trying to, you know, freehand it to figure out if I'm getting the right length. In addition to keeping my hand vertical to get the fade, you also notice that I parted my hair down the middle. That way I get an even fade on both sides of my head. So for the 2 inch, I'm going to be doing a similar thing to what I did with the 3 inch for the fade. Only now instead of keeping my hand completely vertical, I'm going to kind of angle it away from the top of the head, away from that 3 inch hair to give it again a little bit of a fade. And I'm just going to work my way around my ears and then down and just do the lower neck. So I'm just cleaning up the edges now. And by keeping my hand angled like that, I'm just getting a nice fade from the 2 inch hair into the 3 inch hair. And another thing with the hair fins is they come in 1 inch increments, but if you want to do a size in between, this is just the minimum hair that you want to cut. But you can always grasp and then just pull out a little bit if you want to do like a 2 and a half inch. Again, if you can get some help cutting the back of your head, that would be really useful. But using the hair fin, I've found that I've been able to get an even cut on my own just by feel. So at this point, the bulk of the haircut is done and I'm just gonna go ahead back over with the 3 and then the 4 inch again and just see if there aren't any hairs that I missed. I love that I don't have to worry about cutting too short. 
because then you just cut too short and then you have, the only thing you can do to clean it up is to cut shorter and shorter until you are down to a buzz cut anyway. Okay, so we've faded from the two inch just around the bottoms of the ears and the back of the head and we've done the three inch fade on the side up into the four inch and the four inch hair on top and this is pretty much it right here. In all, it took me about 15 minutes to do this nice layered haircut with a fade. Thanks for watching.